Um, good morning, everybody. I am the gamer musician. I am here with my man Matt. <coughs> Today we are going to go off and hopefully have some good finds, garage sailing. It's only going to be a short day today. We're going to end. We're going to get home by about 10:30. But let's hope that we can find some finds between 7:20 and 10:30. Hello everyone. Yep. Yeah, so we are, I'm here with my man Matt. Um, Hi. We've just hit up a small sale. Um, they had nothing out, nothing I wanted. Matt had a giant teddy bear he saw and he liked, but it was like 15 bucks. And he goes, no. I was a bit worried, but I figured I'd just ask the guy at the desk. He goes, I go, do you have any stuff? You know, um, Nintendo's, Game Boys, Playstations. And he goes, oh, I had a Playstation. I was thinking of bringing it out, but I didn't think anyone wanted it. Do you want to come in and have a look? He had a big stack of games, mostly, you know, old sports games for the PS2, nothing I, not not many I particularly wanted, I grabbed a few out, I got um, San Andreas GTA, you know, I got um, a few games, but, you know, most of them were fairly, you know, modern sports games, I think I got six or seven games, you know, a couple fishing games, yes. FIFA 07, um, you know, that kind of stuff, and then I also got um, a PS2 console. And that was 25 bucks overall, so that was... With controllers. I had, yeah, the two controllers. Um, this, the cover thing for the front of the CD thing was missing, so I don't know, I might try and repair that or something. But to be honest, um, this was a sale we almost completely missed. We only just went there because there was a big sign on the main road we're driving up on the way to another one, the one which we are currently heading to now. We, yeah, we just used the Craigslist Yard app, but we got a... Um, PS2. We've got a bunch of other games in the back, um, a couple of controllers and stuff which we picked up. Um, I, I'm not going to go through them now. I'll go through them when we get home back at the house later today. But you know, for now, that's one of the, that's probably our good find today. Uh, other than another big pile for ten bucks of non snickle Fritz games, which is Portal. What else? Yeah, Assassin's I'll go Creed. through them probably when we get back to the house. But you know, that was a good find and this is a tight road so I'm gonna use that as a good opportunity to goodbye. Hi guys! Hey guys, um, I am the game musician, you know who I am, I'm here again with Matt. Um, Hi! We just hit up another small sale, it was um, you know, a woman with her daughter, they were, you know, it was a sale, we didn't think they had anything, we looked, we saw Yahtzee Junior, the Princess Edition, but there wasn't really, you know, there was nothing particularly we wanted, we figured, you know, as always, Ask, do you have any stuff? Nintendos, DS's. I said DS's specifically because the daughter looks like the right age group to have possibly owned one. And then afterwards, I said, um, you know, PlayStations. And then, you know, she goes, Sorry, no, we don't have any of that stuff. The mother goes, and then, the, you know, as we were walking away, she calls us back. It looked like the daughter had said something to her. Went back. Um, the daughter went into the house and came back out with a bundle of N64 games, which is pretty cool. Um, after that, of course, the mother decided it was a perfect opportunity to sit down on the floor and search each game individually on eBay. But I guess she must have missed a few because we got um, the bundle of games which she decided she wanted to sell for 20 bucks, which included some um, games like Perfect Dark and Star Fox 64. You know, so that was a pretty good considering the whole thing was 20 bucks. I'll go through all the rest of them. I think there were seven games in there, six, seven games in there. I'll go through the rest of them all when you get home, and I guess I'm going to see you all later. Supposedly, you could find and buy anything on the I think I already got this one, yeah. You do? Yeah. 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 What? It's not in there. Oh, oh. Yeah. You, you can check all the other boxes for it. Ah, yes. It's really disappointing it's not in there. Oh, sorry, I was wrong. Oh, sorry. Ah, sorry. We have videos for PSP? Yeah, the UMD ones. Yeah. 
the older, like this was a, these two were together a good row, um, for one ninety nine each. And um, they, I love the way how on this they wrote how they got all the Pokemon in the Pokédex section at the back. Like, how did they get their Togedile? Cheat. They literally wrote cheat. You know, I just found those two funny. They were, I was, you know, three ninety eight for both, so one ninety nine each. And finally, just a few um, various games we bought throughout the week. Um, Jillian Michaels Fitness Ultimatum 2009, Lego Star Wars, NHL 06, FIFA 02 as well, which I forgot. So these three game, you know, these two and FIFA were for the GameCube. Sorry, Jillian Michaels was we, if you hadn't been able to tell. Um, these two were at a different, the Goodwill, which I've had a couple of good finds in the last couple of weeks. Um, PS2, The Getaway, which looks like it could be interesting. I don't know, I mean, I. I don't know a lot about it, but I'm looking looking at the pictures. It looks kind of like a Rockstar GTA style game, so that could be a bit of fun to try out. Um, finally, this was the um, not for resale Star Wars: The Clone Wars Tetris Worlds disc. You know, it's got both manuals. It's got the disc with two games on it. But this is the you know promotional offer, not for resale version. So this looks like it could be a bit fun to try out at some point. So those were the and finally, yesterday, Matt came home with this, which is good, because this is, at the moment, my favourite series. It's all in there, but this is the Greatest Hits Edition, Final Fantasy XII for PS2. So, at the moment, Final Fantasy is one of my favourite series. I've played all of them from 3 to 9. So, yeah, 12 will be good to try. And that was all of our finds from thrift stores and stuff over the last couple of weeks. Um, I guess I'll move on to today now. First off, I'm just going to get a couple of the other, a couple of the random items out of the way. This whole pile here was one dollar. What it is, is it, it's pretty much just um, a massive collection of, you know, empty blank DVD cases. That'll be really useful to me. I've got a fairly large amount of loose discs at the moment. So these will be quite useful. I'll put that down because that's a massive thing in the way. Uh, we'll send it to them later. Uh, just, we'll go to a couple of the smaller um, singular items first before we start to get to the big piles. Um, yeah. um, this was the Atari um, plug and play for, you know, this is the 2000 whatever one, um, the, you know, Jack specific one. This is still complete in box. Um, you know, it's, the box is in perfect condition. But it is there, so I thought that was kind of cool. They gave me that for two dollars. Wait, how long it is though? Yeah, it's a pretty big thing. But yeah, that was two dollars, which was kind of cool. They had nothing else at this sale. I think it was like an estate sale, but I couldn't really complain. Oh, this is for the big new guy. And this was some, yeah, this was a bit of, this was some, um, you know, kind of. He was a bit annoying, but um, what happened was I saw some games. I thought there were a couple of cool looking games in this pile. In his pile, yeah. I grabbed out you know this one, grabbed out a Yu-Gi-Oh 5D, um, Agatha Christie, and some other game. I forgot which one it was. The Wii U. Oh no, I gave up on that one because he wanted ten bucks for the Zombie U, and I didn't really want to pay ten dollars for Zombie U. Um, but I think I grabbed out five on um, four Wii games. He goes, I want five dollars each, and I'm like, Ooh. and I go. Would you go four for fifteen? He goes, sorry, I'm not cutting any deals. So in the end, I put three of them back. I kept a hold of um, Animal Crossing City Folk for Wii, because at the moment that's Matt's pretty much favourite series. So Animal Crossing is going to be pretty good to play. This is you know complete. Obviously, the disc is there, manual is there. It's in really, it's in pretty good condition to be honest. So that's all there, which is good. Um, and. I guess I'll pull this out of the way because there's only one game here. But um, at the end of the day, this was for the last sale, so I'm a bit jumping over the place chronologically, but I'm just kind of doing it. Um, we got there, we were in a bit of a hurry because we were going to the city today, and we needed to, so we needed to get home. We had not that long, but with it, do we, have, we go, do you have any games? He goes, I've got an old Nintendo, but I refuse to part with it, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'm about to walk away. And he goes, actually, I think I've got some more PlayStation 1 stuff, and you know, up in the attic, mainly on um, first-person shooter games. Would you be able, Would you be able to wait here until my wife gets back? She's just quickly grabbing some lunch from the taco store down the road. Um, would you wait here so while she gets back, so that then while she can look at the, after the store while I run up and grab them? We go. Yeah, sure. He 
After 15 minutes, she hadn't arrived home, which was, he'd said it would be 5, 10 at the max, but she wasn't there. Um, in the end, he goes, how's this? I'll run upstairs and look for them and grab more quickly. Um, if you guys can just watch the store, you know, I'll trust you guys. So that was good. He ran up and came back down and said that his wife had moved all of his games and he didn't know where they were. It was a bit of a disappointment because we were waiting a bit. But um, the only game he had and he gave me for two dollars was COD Black Ops 2. So you know that was it's all there, it's in fairly good condition it's in nice condition to be honest. Like you can tell he didn't play a lot of it, but it was um all there, so that was good. It was a bit of a disappointment about all the PS1 first person shooters, but Black Ops 2, that was that. Um I'll say these stuff next, because yeah. Um, these were, um, you know, it was a sale. I think I got these two um, accessories for the PS3. These were three dollars each. Were they? I think I paid six dollars for the two. Two dollars each. Were they, oh, I can't remember exactly. But yeah, um, this is the PlayStation Move, or as we like to call it, the lollipop. Yeah, the PlayStation lollipop, which Nintendo did not rip off. Um, Sony did not rip off Microsoft. Uh, Nintendo. Sony did not rip off Nintendo in any way, shape, or form. But you know, this is there. It's got a bunch of other random stuff in there. I don't really know what's exactly meant to be in these things. It also comes with um, this PlayStation Move demo disc. You know, game demo disc, whatever. So that's what it. Yeah, I just love how squishy this top is. It's squishy. But yeah, that's in there. So that was kind of cool. And the um, Blu-ray disc. Remote control, which is still in its packaging, like this has not been opened, so that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. Oh, I hope the sensor I hope it's supposed to. The sensor. Then make. I think the sensor's there. Yeah, that's the sensor there. Oh. So that's good. That's all in there. Uh, just after the one where the PS3 and all that was gone, um, this guy was bitten up, really nice. He wanted all of these games. We saw on the Craigslist listing that he said he had games. None of them were out yet. Um, you know, um, yeah, all of them were there inside his garage. They had to look for them a bit because they didn't know where they'd actually left him. Um, when they came out, there were a few decent titles there. I left a couple. The games which I didn't really need or want, but uh, you know there are. I got four 360 games and four PS2 games. Um, I start with the PS2 games because the 360 game click selection was uh, a fair amount better. The PS2 games were uh, I'll these two, uh, two James Bond games, Nightfire and Everything or Nothing. So these are both complete. They look, you know. Who doesn't like a James Bond game? GoldenEye created like everything. Um, there's aggressive inline, which you know it looks fun, but it's missing its manual, which sucks. But you know whatever. So check these, shouldn't I? That's there. That's it. So these two are both complete, which is yeah. Good. Aggressive inline, which is a skateboarding game that is not complete, and Need for Speed Underground is all there. So that's kind of cool. They had another James Bond game, but that was greatest hits and also missing the manual, so I just kind of left that one. Um, then I got four Xbox 360 games. So I guess I'll just say, um, he wanted two bucks a piece, but I ended up giving all eight of these games to me for ten. So you know that was a good good deal. Um, some of these some of these Xbox games are pretty good to be honest. Portal 2, like as far as I remember, they were all complete. Yeah, Portal 2's there. Oh, I checked. Yeah, Portal 2, um, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary, which I don't know if that has any more value or anything than the original Halo Combat Evolved, which is Halo 1, but you know, um, that's pretty cool. Um, Halo 3, which I've heard is a, you know, the best one, though as far as I know it's also a story driven series, so I don't, I don't really know a lot about Halo, all I know is that all my friends who've played it have told me it is good. And I guess adding on to my ever growing Assassin's Creed collection, I've got the signature edition of Assassin's Creed Revelations. Uh, I'll go with these ones next. Um, yes, that's right, this is our first garage sale N64 finds. Um, so, what happened was we asked if they had any games, the mum immediately goes, no, and you know, she, 
the sort of manner, like, oh, okay, no worries, thanks so much. He goes, yeah, no worries. And as we were about to walk, as we just left the driveway and started walking away, we got called back, you know, by the one we saw the, the, the daughter talking to her. So we figured, oh, okay, fair enough. So as we were walking, you know, as we were walking back down the driveway, the mum calls us back. It looks like the, her daughter had been talking to her and convinced her to sell a few of the games. You know, I mean, I've done my whole spiel before, but, you know, um, do you have any games? Nintendo, um, DS, PlayStation. I said DS specifically, looking, you know, looking at the daughter, I kind of assume she looks like the right age group to have had a DS. Anyway, um, and then we came back, so I was like, oh, good, maybe they'll have some good DS stuff. Um, you know, the daughter goes inside, is in there for a few minutes looking around, and comes out with a massive stack of um, N64 games. Um, then the mum decides to look them all up on eBay, individually, one by one. So that got um, annoying. She took back a few of the other games, you know, the, she took back the Smash Bros, the, um, you know, the Doom, the Banjo-Kazooie, you know, all those games. But um, I guess she must have made a couple of mistakes, because she left a few of these other games here, which were, you know, um, you know like, um, the two rare ones, the two rare ones I'll leave till the end. They're not, you know, they're not the, they're not the um, sculptors, Clay Fighter Sculptors Edition, but they are, you know, they're okay games. But these are the five which aren't as well. I don't know actually. I haven't, I haven't, I don't know the prices for really any of these. NFL Blitz. That's right. It's my first N64 sports game. Uh... Um, Battle Tanks, which is a, looks like it's based on a 3DO game. So that would be um, interesting to have a look. I don't know anything. I, for half, most of these games, I don't know their values. I haven't looked them up yet, but Battle Tanks 3. The thing was, um, she mainly looked up the titles which she'd heard of before. Like, she didn't have the time to go through every single game one by one. So, she, you know, she looked up some. She looked up Star Wars Rogue Squadron and took that one back because that's a rare game, of course. You know, Doom, or super rare. Um, you know, oh. Tiger Woods, oh, no, sorry, Cyber Tiger, that's super, you know, they, so she took them back, all the ones she'd heard of, but she left the rest of them, I guess she just didn't know. Uh, anyway, War Gods, once again, don't know its value, don't know anything about it. Published by Midway, fingers crossed it's something like Gauntlet, because that game was the best when I was younger. Um, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, I know Tom Clancy games are usually pretty high quality, so that's good, and of those five, Games I don't know anything about really. Blast Core. So that's kind of cool. I've seen this one come up a fair amount on like, you know, back in Gum Train on them. Craigslist. So I don't know, this would be good to have a look at. Um, these two are the games which I thought, or I know, of um, Perfect Dark and Star Fox 64. So that was pretty good. Um, she, she must have missed those two when going through, because those two games are worth you know, a moderate amount, but I ended up paying $20 for all seven games. So that's less than $2 a piece for these. So that's, you know, never a bad find for N64 games. Um, then I guess we'll go with these things. Matt's, um, Matt's hopefully reorganized them out of the order I had them in specifically before. Yep, um, I don't have that anyway. Um, so these were all a dollar a piece. Um, I think I ended up getting 13 but she ended up giving me a um, deal. Or when I say 13 a lot of these were UMD videos for PSP. Two of which, uh, I don't know how, I'm, I thought I checked them all, but I must have missed these two. I just grabbed all of the ones she had, because she was happy to give me a deal on all of them, and give me everything there for $10, except for Doom 3 Collector's Edition, which had no disc in it. I was that was one I saw, I was like, oh, that looks good. Doom, you know, Doom 3 Collector's Edition for PS3, that was massive, looking really nice. No disc, so that was a bit sucky. They also had like Alien vs Predator 2 manual only, but I left that as well. Um, but these two, which I don't know how, I don't even, I didn't even really want these movies particularly, but I grabbed them all because she was giving me a deal. Um, American Pie and Pulp Fiction. These two are just the cases. So, to be honest, I'll probably take out the inserts, and um, there's no harm in keeping them, but I'll probably take out the inserts and keep these for PSP. loose PSP games I come across, because these two are completely empty. Um, Manhunt, 
the manhunt manhunt two, which I I don't think I can map play pretty much map play slash watch almost any of these PSP stuff. But manhunt two still sealed, which is nice. It's fine. Um, that was the only actual PSP game. The rest of these PSP stuff are all still movies. Um, Johnny Depp Secret Window and Booty Call were both still sealed as well. You know, I mean, I'm probably never going to watch any of these, but like, they're all a bundle and I, you know, whatever. Um, the UMD of South Park, When Technology Attacks. It's my first South Park video game kind of item. Which, um, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Sick of Truth is apparently really good, I haven't played it yet. Um, and apparently all the N64, the N64 game is apparently a complete piece of filth. So let's see, I don't know, I'll probably play it eventually, but yeah, just for the offs of it. But um, also there's Kill Bill. So those were the movies and stuff. Um, so I got them, as well as these collection here of Xbox games. So I guess I'll go with this one first. It's, um, this is the Xbox um, Splinter Cell. You know, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell, it's all there. Of course, its issue with it is, as you probably can see by its grey case, <sighs> platinum hits. So that's our you know, greatest hits for Xbox, but Splinter Cell. Um, also, Sega GT 2002 slash Jet Set Radio Future. So that's one of those, you know, two games in one case. It's kind of like the Tetris Star Wars one I showed before. You know, this is, this is another not for resale limited edition. It's got both, it's got two separate manuals and two, or the two games on one disc. Um, close. House of the Dead 3. Limited edition Mech Assault 2 Lone Wolf, which has got, you know, two discs, which is kind of cool. Ninja Gaiden, um, Xbox, which is all there, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, I don't know. I, I've always wanted to play the NES game, Rage, and then Rage Quit and never play it again. That, that's always something I've been wanting to do. And Halo 2, I've already got a copy of this, so I don't know. Um, the case is a bit cracked, it's not perfect condition. But yeah, I was going to leave it. When she said she would do one dollar a piece and give me a bundle deal, I grabbed this along as well. So this is all there, the manual's all there, the game's there. This is the case itself is a little cracked. Maybe I can shove it in one of my new empty cases. Um, over there. I guess finally, Matt, out of comes. I got a PS2 console. It's great. I've got a bunch of PS2 games oh, in there. Wait. Yeah, I mean, we've got a bunch of control. We've got extractor controls there, of course. Yeah. So yeah, I got a PS2 console, which is great. I've got a bunch of um, PS2 games back there. You can see behind me. Um, my issue was none of them work on my Australian PS2 console, which. Also, by the way, stopped working on the plane trip here, which is a disappointment in and of itself. But I mean, I was at the sale, I asked the guy, do you have any video game stuff? Nintendos, Game Boys, you know, Playstations. Um, so what happened was we got there, we go, do you have any video games? Mentioned a couple of consoles. He go, because we looked there, all they had was an elephant plush doll for $15. You know, which Matt wanted, but it was $15. Um, but I said, do you have any video games? Nintendo, Game Boy, Playstation. He goes, as a matter of fact, I think I do have an old PlayStation in my in the house. I never, I haven't played it in years. I have, you know, it's in there. I think it might be missing a disc cover, but you can have them or if you would like, you can buy them if you'd like. I was gonna bring them out. I didn't think there was anyone who would want it. So we went in. Um, I grabbed a bunch of games. You know, um, greatest hits: ATV Off Road Fury, um, two fisherman games, two f fishing games. Rapala Pro Fishing and Fisherman's Base Club. FIFA 07, because FIFA is fun. It's my favourite sports series really at the moment. I like to play FIFA from time to time. Um, SSX, you know, the snowboarding game. I haven't checked these actually, so I'll give it a quick check right here, right here live on camera. i show you my disappointment. Oh, that's a nice find. I'm so glad I picked up FIFA 07. Here's a first party 8 megabyte PS2 memory card right here. You you saw this live first time reaction. So that was good. Um, Fishing with base card, there's no memory cards. Okay. Bala is there, and ATV is all there. So you know those were all there. I'll probably keep the memory card out actually. 
Well, that's good. I've, it would be good to have a dedicated American one to start off with. I guess there was one other game which was. I us just check inside. Oh, good. It's got the poster. It's got the manual. It's got the game. But this is um, GTA San Andreas. This is the only. Um, well, actually, I can't say it's the only. But it is a PS2 GTA game I did not own. So now, PS2, looking back. I've got, you know, Vice City 3 and San Andreas, as well as GTA, as well as GTA 4 for PS3. So that's good. But yeah, it also came with the console. Um trying to read, but there's a um the disc cover is missing. I'll see if I can try and order another one on AliExpress or try and put something on. Otherwise, I'll probably use this for now until I come across another one. They can't be that rare. I mean no, I think they're back. They aren't that rare to find. It also came with two. It came with all the other cords. You know, the, I can't bother getting Matt to pick them up, but they're down there. Good job. It's just you know the two first party cords. The um, you know for the AV and the power, and also which is good. I'm um, I'm glad to have an American power. My PS1 is still using my Australian cords, but yeah, I've got also came with two first party DualShock two, uh, first party DualShock two controllers, which is good. Um, my my one it's. Right, left stick is starting to get a bit destroyed from overuse over many, many years. But these two, I've checked all these, all the sticks were fine on these two. So that's good to have a couple more DualShock 2s. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much our finds for this week. And I have, you know, on all the stuff I bought today, which I showed you, I spent less than a hundred bucks. You know, yeah, I guess that's all from me this time. So don't forget to like the video, comment on the video, you know, share the video. Sharing it on Facebook is, the moment, while I'm still small, is amazing. Like, literally, if you share this video, I would be your eternal friend. Because then all your friends will say it. But yeah, share the video, like the video, comment the video, um, and don't forget to subscribe to me for some more video game music themed videos from The Gamer Musician.